This is a problem. I think I was 15. I've had this for eight years. Am I ever gonna wear this again? Probably not, but am I gonna keep it because it's Ariana Grande? Yes. It's time to tackle the lipsticks. So I have done many declutters on this channel of my makeup. I mainly started decluttering my makeup collection when I thought I was gonna be moving out soon. Obviously, old Corona has uh, stopped that one from happening so far. However, I have recently had some good news. As I'm filming this video now, I am able to get the keys to my house in a week and a half. When you're watching this video, I might already have the keys and I might already be in. So if my videos have been a little bit lacking recently, this is why. So most of my makeup drawers have already been sorted into makeup that I wanna keep, and then I got rid of a load of makeup, but I never actually went through my lip drawers, and I've got two massive drawers of lip products that are just full of so many lipsticks that I don't use. With the rest of my makeup, it's all in a big box for pretty much donations um, to give to friends and family. I need to find somewhere that I can donate it to because I've still got a massive box of gently used makeup that I just don't know what to do with. It's a little bit more tricky with lip products though. Um, in particular, lip products like glosses and liquid lipsticks because once the applicator's been put back in to the tube, there's not really a way to disinfect it that I know of. So I don't know if anywhere will take those for donation. Obviously with a regular lipstick, you can just chop the top off and like sanitize it and you're good to go. But if anyone knows of anywhere that I can donate um, liquid lipsticks or lip glosses to, or just makeup in general that has been gently used, please let me know. Cause I really don't want to just put it all into landfill. So these are my lip drawers. As you can see, there is a ridiculous amount in here and that is mostly nude lipsticks then i've also got this drawer which is even more lipstick so what i think is going to be the easiest thing to do is i'm going to move all of my lip products onto my bed so that i can go through them properly and do swatches and stuff oh my god um this is a problem this is a problem then i've got a few of my most used lip products in this makeup bag which i'm going to talk through and then i've got some more lip liners over here, I've got my boxes to organize into, but all of these are not gonna fit into those. There's not even enough room for me on this bed. Where do I even start? I've got my box in front of me for ones that I want to keep. All right, let's just get going. I'm gonna do some swatches. So I've got a lot of the Maybelline. This video is gonna take me about two hours, maybe longer. These Maybelline Superstay ink crayons, I really, really like, so I will be keeping most of these. This is a really nice red shade, which is called, what are you called? Laugh Louder. Oh, this is such a gorgeous color. I love the formula of these, so I will definitely be keeping those. I've got quite a few of them, so I guess I'll pick those out as my first ones that are staying. Obviously, my lipsticks with Revolution I'm gonna be keeping. I don't know why this is in this drawer. Oh, it's because I recently took it out when James picked my makeup. I took it out of my, like, everyday makeup bag. Let's go through my Jeffree Star lipsticks, and there's a few others in here as well, and see which ones I want to hold on to. So I've got a new Celebrity Skin, which I will be keeping, because that's one of my favourites from Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. These are one of my favourite liquid lipstick formula, along with Ofra liquid lipsticks. So I'm also going to be keeping Skin Tight, which is one of the lightest nudes that he does, I think. It's nice to, like, put in the centre of your lips. I wouldn't wear this by itself. I've got all these, like, funky coloured ones, which I, which I just don't wear like what am I supposed to do with these I've got androgyny which used to be one of my favorites never wear it anymore because it's too dark for me this was like what made Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks famous I think but I don't use it so that's gonna go uh designer blood I am gonna keep these ones I just don't think I want deceased Sagittarius they're like gray purple colors Scorpio is literally a purple I just don't wear purple and gray lipsticks anymore so they can go pumpkin pie this is a pretty unique shade it's an orange I am gonna keep that just just because it was limited edition. I know the others were as well, but I am just gonna keep this because I like it. Posh Spice is like the ultimate grayish nude. Family Jewels is a bit too dark for me, so I'm gonna get rid of that. As in, like, it is a nude, but it's more of a dark nude, and I just prefer my nudes to be a bit lighter than this, so I'm gonna get rid of that. That one, oh, I've got the bullet form of celebrity skin. By the way, if you're wondering what my lipstick is now, this is MAC Peach Stock with um, the, one of the Lady Gaga lip liners underneath it. Celebrity skin. The problem with my one, um, which I never really saw anyone speak about, mine's got little like grainy bits in it and had done like since I first bought this. So I don't actually wear that anymore. I'm gonna get rid of it. Gemini, this looks like quite a nice color. No, again, I think that's just a bit too dark. So I'm gonna get 
rid of that one. All of these beauty bakery ones, I'm sure they're really nice, but I just never ever wear them. So all of those are gonna go. Manny, MUA, and Jeffrey, Daddy, I am gonna hold on to. Um, I've got the Tartus lip paint in double tap. Um, I used to love this, but the brush has gone blue. That can go in the bin. The ones that I'm gonna bin, I'm just gonna put like towards the back here because I don't have another box. Oh, why is this all oily? Tartus lip paint in TBT. Okay, no, that's gotta go. That's gross. These Tartus lip paints hold kind of a special place in my heart just because, ooh, yeah, what the heck? This one's gone yellow. Tartus lip paint in Hella. These were really nice. They used to smell really nice. Not anymore. They smell gross because I think they've gone off. My first ever YouTube event that I went to was with Emma. That's when we first met. And it was the Tarte event where we got these in our goodie bag. And that was when I was 18 or 19. I'm now 23, so this is definitely gone off. Oh my god. Emma would die if she knew that I had this. This used to be Emma's favourite, like, ready orange colour. The Tartus lip paint in Cray Cray. Oh my god, it still smells so good. It's got that minty sort of smell. You know what's really weird about these is that oil, all the oil seems to kind of have come out of them. I definitely do have more of Jeffree's lipsticks. I've got Mannequin and Celebrity Skin, which I wear more often. Out of all of the ones that I had, I've decided to keep these six. Next up, I'm gonna do some of my MAC lipstick. I used to collect these, and it's gonna make me really sad to get rid of some, but I just don't wear them anymore, so. Pink Plaid. I bought this. It still smells really nice. You know, I have a bit of a confession to make. Some of my MAC lipsticks um, I've had for at least five years and I still wear them and they still seem totally fine and they still smell nice. I don't know how long MAC lipsticks last for or, well, I know that they're supposed to last for probably like two years. That still smells good. Um, Pink plaid. I bought this as a celebration once I had finished my GCSEs. Oh my God. I think I was 15. I've had this for eight years. Ago. Time is going so fast. Goodbye. Mac Brave. Oh my god, what a gorgeous colour. That's nice. Taupe. Oh my god. I used this so often. Never wear it anymore. Too dark. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Retro, again, a really nice, like dark nude sort of colour with a bit more red in it. Never wear it, that can go. Creme de Nude. This was the first MAC lipstick I ever bought. I barely ever wore it because it was way too light. I actually quite like a pale nude these days to put in the center of my lips, so I'm actually gonna keep it. Might be eight years old, but I'm gonna keep it. Stone, oh my God. I, w I wore this, I wore this in videos. It's just a gray, gray. It's a gray lipstick. I wore gray lipstick and had gray hair. Who was here for that time? There it is. My MAC Jamie Genevieve lipstick. I have been looking for this for the longest time and it's just been sitting in my drawer. I thought I'd lost it. You're staying with me. Flat out fabulous. I mean, what a shade. This was a hot, pink and it's a retro matte formula why did i why did i want that did i ever wear it probably about twice well oh my god all of these shades are just bringing back so many memories well was another one of my favorites but it's quite a dark brown i used to be really into my brown lipsticks amorous you know what's really weird i'm like getting these lipsticks out and i can picture days and events where i wore these I bought this, I think, when I went to visit my brother when he was at university. I don't wear it anymore. Rebel was such a classic shade. Looks way darker in the tube than it actually is. It actually comes out like quite bright, but will I wear this again? Probably not, because it stains your lips like hell. <laughs> Ruby Woo. I actually only got this recently. I never had Ruby Woo before, but I'm going to keep this because it's just such a classic red and it's the type of red that makes your teeth look really white so if i ever want a red lipstick i actually forgot that i had this i'm gonna keep that oh my god my mariah carey lipstick with a butterfly on it and with the glitter packaging i'm never getting rid of this i don't wear it but um i'm never getting rid of that i used to collect these like limited edition ones the aladdin lipstick that's covered in fluff <gasps> That is a gorgeous colour. Again, this one was so recent. Oh my god, yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. That is stunning. Oh my god. Tribalist. This was a super dark one. Another limited one because it's got the black glitter on it. I never really wore this, so I'm going to get rid of that. Oh my god, this packaging is so sick. It's a bit dirty, but how cool is that packaging? I used to live for Max collections. Fresh Moroccan. This was my Christmas lipstick. It's a red, but it's got like gold shimmers in it. I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna wear it on Christmas day. MAC Viva Glam Ariana Grande. Am I ever gonna wear this again? 
Probably not, but am I gonna keep it because it's Ariana Grande? Yes. When I think Ariana Grande, I don't instantly think of like a near black purple lip color. Open presents. Oh my God, I love this lipstick so much. I think this was limited edition and discontinued, but I got this fairly recently and it is actually like one of my favorite MAC lipstick shades. So I'm gonna keep that. I know for a fact that the NYX lip lingerie liquid lipsticks, I've got every single shade um, and they're all in here. Some of these have not even been worn however i am going to get rid of them just because they are matte lipstick liquid lipsticks these aren't my favorite formula i used to quite like them but then i discovered the likes of ofra and jeffree star so i know that i know for a fact i'm not going to wear these i'm sorry nyx i prefer your satin formula what were they even called whatever this formula is liquid suede these ones are nice a barry m holographic lip topper i think i used that once in a video then was like uh no Colourpop. I used to love Colourpop liquid lipsticks. Oh my god, this is gonna make me really sad. Bianca, Beeper. Beeper used to be one of my favourites. Lumiere, Kathleen Lights, Lumiere 2. That's a bit too purple for me. Viper, again, a bit too purple for me. Times Square, gorgeous shade. I'm gonna keep that. Trap. Trap was one of my favourites. Any of you guys following me at this time? When I used to just live for grey mauve nudes those are all gonna go oh no chi chi was my favorite brownie nude this is what got me on the brownie nude hype <laughs> that's gonna go in the bin because that has been overused by the way out of the ones that i'm putting to one side like into this box i am gonna sort them out and decide which ones are going into the bin and stuff i've kept two. Oh, there's a couple of other mac lipsticks here viva glam 2 one of my fave no not this one that's the wrong one this is viva glam 3 uh i'm not gonna wear that so i can go well with teddy of course i'm keeping this is still really nice and i do actually keep this in my handbag these nyx liquid suede like what why why do i need a blue lipstick like am i gonna need blue lipstick again likelihood no so they can go so far i've only kept this many and then my mac ones i think i'm doing pretty well revlon black cherry this was my old favorite dark lipstick that is a gorgeous color but i have their more recent formula of this I'm just gonna go through my lip liners because I do have some that I use like more regularly. I have spoken about them in videos. Uh, one of my favorite lip liners is this Body Shop one. I can't remember for the life of me what shade it is, but it's one of the nude ones. That is a Pound World one. I don't need a NYX one in Alabama. Don't need. Revolution Dark one, don't need. Colourpop and Zoella. These are nice lip liners, so I'm gonna keep those. discovered a really nice NYX one. This is called Leon. Yes, please. All of these NYX Bright ones, I clearly haven't used and clearly won't use. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these. You know, the Little Mix LMX lip liners are actually really nice. This one is the shade Real Talk. Let's do it on my finger. Okay, that's actually probably a bit too brown, I think. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh my God, I've just opened this one, which is Barry M Go To. That looks like such a nice lip color. I'm gonna keep that. Definitely don't need all of those. Right, so I went from having a massive like tub full of lip liners to having lip liners that can fit in two of the holes. I do have more in that makeup bag, but I will sort through those later. I think now I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me trying to sort through some of these, otherwise we will be here for hours. This one, this is what I was talking about, MAC v v Viva Glam 2 is one of my favorite MAC lipsticks, so definitely keeping her. I've been gone for about an hour. I just went for a lunch break because I was really hungry and I needed to give my back a rest. I'm just gonna go through my like most used lip products, I guess. Some of my other favorite lip liners are actually in my handbag, but these are some of my faves. The Milani 04 All Natural Lip Liner. This is such a nice one, but look how small this is now. Oh, okay, this Lottie London one. That looks quite nice, or is this a bit light? Mm. The formula of this is really nice, but it's a little bit too light for me, I think. Like, it's lighter than my lip colour. Whereas usually I like to go in with a slightly darker lip liner and then a lighter, like, lip colour in the middle. So I'm going to get rid of that one. The LMX ones, like I was saying, the Little Mix ones. This one is the shade Rose Blush. I've got the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Nude, which is another just 
standard new lip liner which i really like charlotte tilby lip cheat in pillow talk another one of my absolute favorites that's that one here i've got quite a few of these like nude sticks lipsticks this one is the shade mystic formula that is really nice that's gonna steer this laura mercier one in coral vif how stunning is that if i ever want like an orangey red lip this is the type of colour that I go for. Not that that's very often, but I'm going to keep it. I'm using the Maybelline Gigi Hadid lipstick in the shade McCall. This colour is so nice, but I don't think it's available anymore, but I'm going to keep that. Huda Beauty Venus. Oh, that is such a pretty nude colour. Oh my god, this L'Oreal Camila Cabello lip gloss smells so good. Oh my god, we're actually down to the last few. What in the world? This used to be one of my favourite Bare Minerals lipsticks. I've had this for about six months. It was in the shade Peony. Someone tell me why this has gone mustard yellow. I haven't even had this for a year. That is the craziest thing. This was like a pinky nude shade that was really nice and it's gone like concealer color. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, we're nearly done. I've swatched these, but I don't actually think I've ever put them on my lips. Oh my God, my Kylie liquid lipsticks. I'm not gonna get rid of these just because they cost me so much money. Even if I just keep them for display, I'm gonna keep those. And then finally, I've got some lip balms. So the lip products that I'm keeping, in this box this is my box to keep including my lip liners um there is quite a few still in here but nowhere near as much as what i had at the start the fact that i can now fit all of this into this box and it's not even full is a huge improvement and i'm getting rid of this many this box is bigger than this one and it is completely full and overflowing and these are what i'm going to be getting rid of and then obviously i've got my mac ones as well but i'm pretty happy with that considering how many I started off with. I'm just going to sort these out and do some kind of organisation and then I'll be back. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with these. If anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. Obviously the ones that are brand new in here, I will be putting into my boxes for friends and family and giveaway. And then the ones that are used, um, obviously the standard lipsticks, like the lipsticks that come in a thing like this, they can always be sanitised because you can chop the tops of them off and then sanitise them. But the rest of them, like liquid lipsticks and lip glosses, I just don't know what to do with. And I don't really want to throw them in the bin, but I don't know if there's anything else I can do. So if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. Hey guys, so it's actually a few days later. Um, if I've got any marks on my forehead, it's because I completely forgot that I was wearing tinted moisturiser. And then I've just been on the phone, like rubbing my face. Does anyone else do that? You forget you're wearing makeup and then you just start rubbing your face. And then you're like, oh, oops. Anyway, I didn't end up organising my lipsticks just because i am moving next week when you're watching this video i might already have moved and i thought there's no point reorganizing my lipsticks back into my drawers when i'm gonna have to take them all out again and put them into these boxes so that i can transfer everything to the new house and i'm now just gonna answer a question of the day if you guys have got any questions for me for me leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day today's question comes from nisha i think it's nisha or nisha she has said what's your favorite sunscreen i love how you speak about how important spf is so i'm assuming you mean for my face for my body actually my favorite sunscreen is the bondi sounds one because they smell so good but for my face my absolute favorite one which is very pricey is the elizabeth art and what arden one that one is so nice uh, but my favorite slightly more affordable ones i really like the body shop skin defense lotion the spf 51 they recently like brought it back but they have it's like a new product it's not the same as their old spf this one is more of like a lotion but i still really like it and it works really nicely um i like the number seven one i like the CeraVe one what else do i use i like the Too faced one which is obviously more high end i use quite a mixture to be honest the only one that i found is like not really oily at all is the elizabeth arden one but it is more expensive and also none of those have broken me out which is obviously i think the main thing for facial spf sun creams right i'm gonna end this here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye oh my god my next video might be in my new house ah <sighs>